Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a 2017, nope, sorry, 2016 Ram 1500, and yes, it's got a Hemi. Uh, problem on this car is the water pump is leaking. So of course the water pump is right down there, and the way I figured out why the water pump is leaking, let me get a little light on this situation. Stick to and stay up. That should be good. All right. Number one, the belt is all wet. And there goes my flashlight. All right, let's try that. And if you grab the fan and move it back and forth, see the water pump moving up and down? The bearing's gone and it's leaking. So we are going to change the water pump on this one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our catch pan underneath it, which I already have. And the drain is on this side of the radiator right down there. It is an 18 millimeter socket. And as you can see, I have some pretty nasty coolant flowing out of there. So we're going to do a flush on it too. So next step is I'm going to go ahead and take the upper radiator hose off and the fan shroud. I'll be back after I get that done. So we're underneath the cow, the truck right now, excuse me, because we got to get the fan shroud out. Well, the fan shroud has a pop clip there, there, and there we have to take out. So the fan clutch will be able to come out. So now that I have that taken out, we're going to go back up top and continue removing the fan shroud. All right, I finally got the fan shroud out. So there's a 13 millimeter headed uh, bolt here, 13 millimeter headed bolt there. I showed you underneath that it has some pop clips that hold it in. Now, this piece here, I thought you could take it out and then it would slide out. So how to get this out is, I'll show you how to put it back in. You put it back in and it clips here, here and here. So when you unclip it down there, then you can lift this up and it comes out. I thought it unclipped from here, but it did not. But then it wouldn't clear the electric fan. The electric fan just sits in there on slides so you have to unclip this and this you have to take it out as one assembly then you have much more room in here to get to the fan and I'm already having problems getting the fan off um, it's got a big I think that's was that 32 no this doesn't say I think it's a 32 millimeter nut and it is a left-handed thread so that means it unscrews like you're tightening it. And of course, where's my flashlight here? There is no bolts to use a special tool to hold it on. So I tried shoving a, a screwdriver in the hole, trying to get it trapped against the water pump, but I have not been able to do it. Now that I have more room, I'll get in here and try to get this fan off. Alrighty, well, I'm not gonna lie to you, I couldn't get the fan broken free. I used the Mercedes-Benz tool and shoved it in the hole to try to hold it. So I had to go ahead and take the air hammer and just hit it very gently and I got it to start moving. So here's the fan clutch coming out. Um, I'm gonna need to buy the uh, air hammer attachment part for the fans. I've been putting it off and putting it off uh, because I don't really use it that much anymore. So there is the the fan off so now you can get a good look here at the radiator so I'm gonna draw a map of the belt take the belt off we have a new belt coming I'm gonna clean all the pulleys off because they're pretty nasty uh, you know I haven't done one of these in a very very long time I know I haven't had to take this bracket out let's go look at the new pump and take a look at what the pump looks like so here is the new pump Ugh sits in there like like so um, thermostat housing lower hose and then bolts all the way around so now I'm gonna take that one bracket off so let me get it in here draw a map of my belt so I know how it goes back on and will continue on it looks like there's a bolt up behind here that I'm gonna to have to get to. All right, well, I haven't done one of these in a long time, so we'll just keep chugging on it. 
and uh, see where it gets us. Gonna have to disconnect the two heater hoses, the belt, and start taking some bolts off. There's one up there. And then take this bracket off. All right, well, let me get a bunch of the bolts out and I'll come back. warp showed you me taking all the bolts out of the water pump and the tensioner off the tensioner is held on by a 15 is that 15 or 16 uh, let's see 16 that's a 16 millimeter bolt that takes off the tensioner and all the water pump bolts are 13 millimeter except for one and one of them is a 15 millimeter so let me show you this is a trick that I do when I do a water pump because there are so many different length bolts this bolt is super long, this bolt is long, this bolt's long, these bolts are short. Here's another long one, but, the, but not as long as this one. So there, and then there's this bolt here that's a different size. Um, so you have all different size bolts. So what I do is when I take them out of the old water pump, I immediately put them in the new water pump so I know exactly where they go. So now while I prep this, the new water pump, I will take the bolts out and I will put them where they belong once again in the old water pump so I have a nice map I know this pump probably going to fall down so, oh, there we go see there's a long bolt there's a short bolt because these two are the same length. Here's a short bolt, and here's another long bolt. So now I know exactly where all the bolts go. I don't have to worry about, oh my God, this isn't the right size bolt, or I broke the timing cover, or I broke the block. Um, we are gonna get replace the thermostat. He forgot to get me one, so we are gonna replace the thermostat. And you can see here, this is a, got a pen star on it, so this is an original water pump and I don't know if you can be able to see that from here but that bearing is definitely oh you can hear it too that bearing's definitely bad so now that we got the new water pump ready so this has an o-ring style gasket I will be putting the o-ring style gasket back in and I will be cleaning up the block and I will be putting it back together I'm going to clean all this up Alrighty, I think I'm going to leave this one here. Nobody watches it to the end. That's how you take it apart. Put it back together, it's the same way. You're gonna bolt the water pump back up. You're gonna clean everything up. You're gonna bolt the water pump back up. You're gonna put the belt on, and then you're gonna have to fight with the fans. Actually, I think the fans were the worst part of this, is trying to figure out how that lower piece came out. So, um, I will come back after I get it done to show you the finished product. Alrighty, I got the Dodge all put back together. Water pump sounds good. No bearing noise, no pulley moving back and forth. I did clean this area up. I will wipe the other down. I know it's awful dirty, but he lives down at Gravel Road. So, um, so little pointer, when you put the fan and the electric fan back in, you could put the fan clutch on the motor, and then you can slide this in and the fan, electric fan at the same time and then finagle it around to get it all back in. Then you have to put it up the air and put that lower fan shroud piece where it splits right here, down here, back on. 
So it's got a new thermostat full of coolant. I use my my airlift to be sure the coolant's full. So this one should be done. I'm gonna let it run until it gets up to normal operating temperature. Uh, I torqued all the bolts to 24 newton meters, and I kind of did them in a crisscross pass, 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 pass. The only bolt that's not a 13 millimeter is there is a uh, 15 mil. I think it's a 15 millimeter underneath that stud. It's the only bolt. But then there's all different sizes of bolts on that water pump, so don't get them mixed up. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe. You can always do that in that corner there. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my automotive videos.